Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. If you're like me, you like to save money everywhere you can. If you join the Carl's Club, you'll save up to 30% on all your purchases at the Carl's Club. Not only that, you'll get free shipping on most items and have access to a lot of new and innovative baits before they even hit the streets. You see this fake bass I caught right here? Caught it on one of those new and innovative baits that I got at Carl's Bait and Tackle. Check the link in the description box so you can start catching fish now, just like me. I don't know why my head's still shaking. This was really corny and kind of stupid. Hey, is, uh, is Cam up yet? Cam? I don't think so. Let me go see. Cam! Cameron, time to get up, buddy. <clears throat> I kind of need to go this morning. I'm an early boat number. I'm like uh, boat number 26, flight two. So um, I'm gonna have a lot of time to wait around to get there and kind of get the day started. Cam, let's go. Maybe he's up now. Did you find him? Did he sleep in here? <laughs> let's see. Is that Cam? Cam. That's not Cam. Let's see, maybe he's in here. Cam. That's a washroom. Camera. Huh. Cam. Dude, it's not even answering. Maybe he's outside. Did he, uh, did he come in last night? I don't know, I was asleep. You didn't find Cam? I did not find Cam. What time did y'all hear him come in last night? Oh, didn't hear him come, you hear him come in? Well, I told him that I was gonna be like sleepy. He said he was gonna be in at like 11. And I was like, dude, I'm not staying up that late. Think he's fishing on the pond? I don't think so, he doesn't You don't think he hit the water? No, no I've seen him fish, no. <laughs> yeah, he has probably let that go. Dude, I booked a flight for him and everything. I blew. I booked the flight, he's supposed to come in Wednesday. I'm pretty sure I got everything right on my end, so he should be here. What actually happened is I didn't book the right flight for Cam, okay? That's what happened. I made an error on the dates. I actually booked his flight for like next week, next Wednesday. So I'm the whole reason that Cam is not here today at this tournament, but we kind of upgraded. I actually got, a, I guess it's an upgrade, semi of upgrade. I got a live camera in my boat today. Let's jump in, Eric. Right on, so I got my man Eric in here. He's gonna be my live camera EK. today. EK, that weighs about four pounds? About 35, I bet. Oh, yeah, all right. Well, that's maybe that's indicative of what, what kind of bag we're gonna catch today. It's 35 pounds or so. I think I can catch some fish today. I think I can catch some fish this week. Am I gonna catch what I need to catch? I don't have that same feeling that I had at Pickwick. Let's just say that. I do think I'll catch some fish. But nonetheless, I'm just gonna act like this is not a tournament and fish like I would if there was no tournament. Rising on a beautiful morning in Sweet Home, Alabama, 156 anglers beginning their pursuit of over $850,000 and potentially $900,000 is the near total purse this week as they launch from Gunnersville State Park. Here yeah, and it's back that way. They'll let me know if they don't like it, I bet. that Brian Latimer made maybe 30 minutes ago to start to really pay off for him this morning. He's not a giant, but he's a good fish. I'll go down that Went for the net on that one pretty quick. 
go down that milk road. We got another quality fish. It's a decent one right there. All seem to be around these little points. You're really almost wasting your time unless you're fishing around the points. It's like clockwork. Two and three quarters, if I had to say so. They let me call the weight, they all five pounds. I hope they do that and then I get the weight in. What you got, Brian? Well, I got 25 pounds, Dan. What you gonna do about that? supposed to be on that this little grass on this point that's all it is to it I'll go down that mill for you're not stupid baby you go down that mill for you're not stupid hey ek you see that scoop call me the ice cream man baby you see that scoop <laughs> you see the scoop welcome to be last ice cream shop that's a nice one Three, three three and a half that's what i'd call them anyway bro i pitched that drop shot up there that little patch of meal for it goes i was like yeah yeah that's a bite brian you probably won't set the hook the way i'm fishing now is the way my dad taught me how to fish years and years ago in lake hartwell just fishing he calls them dark lines if you're on gunnersville it's just patches of grass um but we didn't sight fish back then what we would do is dad was real good about seeing this little green mossy stuff on the bottom of the lake and that's where he would fish for spawning fish sometimes they on the post spawn when they're on the way out they'll use that too uh but back in the day this is before we had drop shots and before we even had shaky heads we just take a light texas rig with an eighth ounce sinker on it on a spinning rod and you just throw a little straight tail six inch worm in those what he called dark spots or dark lines and that's uh that's what i'm doing today here almost 30 years later so very fortunate to have not only did he teach me how to work but he taught me how to fish too now people usually you get one or the other you got somebody to teach you how to work and how to do things and not really that good fisherman he was a really good tournament fisherman and he taught me a lot of the stuff that i do now i i kind of took it and put my own spin on it Get back over to Brian Latimer. <laughs> That's a good one. Good one, EK. right where it's supposed to be on that it's a little grass on this point that's all it is to it kind of kicking myself for not moving a little quicker i think i got those top water blow ups and then i i just i got a little romantic it's so easy to do i got a little romantic about the top water bites and i kept staying in there that's a heavy two two and three quarter something like that as soon as I got back on the point, it's a little bit of eelgrass. I want to say that's coontail I'm fishing, but it's it's thinner. The closer you get to the main lake, the lower the grass is, or the less mature it is. However y'all want to see it. But you can't see this. This is not quite as high. It's straight sand, always sand, 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 and it's a little bit of eelgrass right in here. Eelgrass and a little bit of coontail. I got bit as soon as I got to it. We fished all back there in that bay, not a bite. Oh. Got it again. Yeah, you got it. Well, he ain't that small. He ain't that big, but he ain't that small. He 
Yeah, that one won't. I don't think that one will help. We'll just go ahead and scoop him. Uh, yeah, that ain't gonna help. We'll go ahead and scoop him. Let me check that. There was that first one that I caught this morning that was not that big. No, I ain't even close. Nah, nah. Going back there and live your best life, cuz. All right, let's put uh let's make another move. We're gonna stay right here within this creek, but I'm gonna wanna just um, move up to another point that I caught a few in practice on. I feel pretty good about it. Now that the sun's getting up, I'm able to see a little bit better and the fish, like I'm able to make my cast a lot more efficiently and catch a few fish. So I'm just gonna keep pecking around in here. I don't even think I'm gonna go up river today. I think I'm gonna stay right around here. Since I already got three, I feel like I'd be better off to just hang around here and catch whatever I can catch. Ryan Latimer just tried to improve his five fish bag as he's already caught his limit today. Yeah, we're going to find something. There's a bite. It's the keeper, but he ain't big. Actually, he's probably just as good as anything else I had today. That practice might be bigger than anything else I had today. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, he's not that big. Uh, Brian? That'd be five. Okay. I think that might be one of my better ones. I was talking about how he wasn't any that good. Yeah, that's all right. He close, he close to Shree. I probably should be winning these suckers. All right. We did it. We caught five. We got a full bass limit. Chris Jones is my favorite person ever at Major League Fishing. It's no offense to Daniel, no offense to anybody else, but y'all ain't gonna never be Chris Jones. One, two, three, four, five. Y'all ain't gonna never be Chris Jones. A far blast limit for the South Carolina Pro. New leader. <laughs> hey, y'all like when he hits you with the new leader. Hey, Chris, I love you, bro. I got you down pack. I practice yours. I dream about hearing him say that. That's actually really well, good. We got really five. Good. Now we get to upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. We're working on it. I asked for 15 a day, which is, eh. Who knows if that's gonna be good or not. They might be catching them real good. You just never know in Gunnersville. It's been on somewhat of a downturn, but for some reason, I've just got a feeling that you really need to catch them this time, and 15 pounds might not be as good as it's been in the last couple years. Maybe two, two, three quarter. Let's go for the gusto! Let's go! What we're getting rid of, and we'll. All right, how about it? Hey, like Ray Scott used to say, how about it, B team? What y'all think? I gotta be honest with you, I asked for 15 pounds yesterday, and I think that's about what I got. So I feel pretty decent about it. I really don't know how everybody else is catching them today. I have no clue, but um, my stuff worked. Every time I come to a tournament, I look for my stuff to work. It worked today, and uh, honestly, I feel pretty good about even going into tomorrow. I was fishing stuff today that I hadn't even fished and caught a few. Oh, come on, baby. <laughs> Don't start off like that. I'm like, oh, my man, be like coming to the scales and all this. I mean, I always, like you. I'm like always you. smiling. I'm always yeah. like, I'm so excited you're coming up to weigh some fish. And then I hear, 
that you like me okay, but Chris we Jones okay. is your guy, Chris man. Jones is, I mean, Chris Jones is the man. When you're talking to Chris Jones, you know you did something for the week. That money got a Everybody better. talks to it's you. It's just the money, right? It's just the money. It's not really Chris. It's just the, we'll me. go with that. I'll All rock right. with that. I hope you heard that, Chris Jones. <laughs> Brian Latimer, limit of bass, sir. 15 pounds, 2 ounces. I'm going to get over it. It's going to take right, a day over, or two. Get over it. I appreciate you doing that. Huh? <laughs> if you go ahead and fish till the weekend, then... I'll get over it. Right on. That works for me. I'll try to make the weekend, and then we'll, we'll talk about making our relationship better from there. Yep. It's time for us to grow. <laughs> All righty, man. Take Thank care. Thank you, sir. Well, even though the day went as planned, I got to say I miss having my boy Cam here. It just wasn't the same. I need somebody to fuss at, somebody to, I don't know. It ain't the same without Cam. Y'all let me know, y'all Y'all in the comment section, y'all give Cam some nice words of encouragement in the comment section. I don't really know what you're encouraging him about at this point, but just uh, just give my boy some love in the, in the comment section. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that looks like. Show Cam some love. That's all we need to do. This is a Cam appreciation video, okay, at this point. We're just gonna call it the Cam Appreciation Tournament. So uh, this is, uh, I'm not really sure where, I, where I'm at emotionally after today. Good day of fishing, 15-4, 74th place. They could have gave me some more places. 74, I tell Christian like 74, they could have gave me 36. You know what I'm saying? They could have gave me, they could have been like, Brian, you're really in 74th, but today, since you caught 15 pounds and your stuff work, we're gonna curve you 10 places. Yeah, you know, 62 something. You know what I'm saying? Just, I think they gave me 62. They, they sent me that text, 74, bro. I went into it. I was like, emotional damage. But the weird thing is, I ain't changing a thing for tomorrow. I'm going to keep doing the exact same thing and let everybody else crash and burn. Wow. Joe, Christian was eating your gummy bears. As he's chomping. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I was like, <laughs> Christian was eating your gummy bears. <laughs> All right, so this is what I want to know from you guys. I don't really want to know, but I'm just curious to know. I guess I do want to know. Let's say you're fishing this tournament, the pro circuit, you weigh 15 pounds first day, catch them your favorite way in the world. Do you keep doing what you're doing or whatever your favorite thing is, whether that's flipping a jig on docks or if that's fishing ledges or if that means throwing a big swim bait down, whatever your deal is. If you catch 15-4 on day one, 74th place, would you keep on doing what you're doing and let the dust settle where it settles? Or would you try to do something else and hope that you fall on that pot of gold. That's what I want to know from you guys. Not so I can apply that in my fishing life, just having a conversation with you in the comment section of this video. Which one would you do? Would you try to make, would you try to make something happen or would you just kind of hang tight? What I think about, there was a, uh, I don't know if many people don't know this about me, but I've like really gotten into, uh, Motorsports the last two years or so and I watched NASCAR like all the time. I don't know why just all of a sudden I just really got into NASCAR. There was a race a couple weeks ago. I think it was Talladega. I want to say it was William Byron when he did he win Talladega? I don't remember what race it was. That's really pointless. But basically he was like in fourth or fifth place on the last lap. Didn't look like he was going to win this race. It was Ross Chastain. Didn't look like he was going to win the race at all. Just hill steady. Just looking to make a good run. Ends up winning Talladega. Just because he hill steady and wasn't even paying attention to what was going on. And the first lead cars. I'm kind of feeling that right now. I'm 
about to go do the same thing you saw me do yesterday. And hope for the best. It's about the best I can tell you. We're gonna just try to catch as many fish as we can. Uh, try not to have a heat stroke today because yesterday it felt like he got the 90 degrees out here. The first couple of days of hot weather I got to fish. Say hey to my, my boy Dayton here. That's my marshal for today. You guys should sign up for the marshal program. You get to hang out with us in the boat for a couple of two or four days. You getting to fish out four days? Three. But I'm looking forward to it. You never know what might happen out here today. I might catch, if I catch one seven pounder, six pounder, then I got 20, 21, just like everybody else. Stuck in the back. He's not that big. He got it in his back. I don't even think he can measure. He took off. I was like, oh god. He measures. He measures. So that's. Not a bad thing. Hey, I didn't even think that was a fish. It must be good. Uh, he just had it sideways again. They'll get it sideways, dude, and you swear it's a big one. Yeah, huh? <laughs> Ain't better than the other ones I got, but... That's nice. That's real nice, actually. You wouldn't know it, but I ain't thrown a crankbait the whole time I've been here. I found this little spot yesterday during the tournament. I was like, man, I bet you can catch them on a crankbait there first thing in the morning. You can't see it now because the sun's low, but there's a, there's a, uh, the hard spot that runs down through there. It's just solid, just solid, just red, red clay. It's eelgrass on both. It's almost like a road bed. That's what it feels like. It's just a strip. Dude, that must be some grass or something. Oh god. No, I hope that's good. Mm. 
Dude, he locked it. I was like, is that grass? Locked it. I might be a four. I didn't have no four pounds yesterday. Eh, he's not gonna be quite four. He might be four. He might be four. Yeah, I think yeah, he, I think he's four. I think he's in me four. <laughs> Hole that I casted it ten times today. He's close to three. It don't matter because they both gotta go. I threw by a pole twenty-two times. Twenty-three. Why didn't I do this yesterday? That's a big one. God, he's so barely hooked. He's so barely hooked. Hopefully he'll turn around and get some more hooks in him. Thank you. Ah. He's so barely hooked here. Yeah. I ran right into it. Now he's three. I can see them ball spots right out there and it's about to get good now, okay? Don't jump, okay? Man, you, you did all jumping you're supposed to do out there. No more jumping. I think he's three. I'd say so. Yeah.
Yes! Yes! Hell yes! Whoa! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Yeah. Yes! Ah! Dude, he locked it up. I said, that ain't no small one right there, boy. <laughs> I knew when he hit it, I was like, yeah. But he got it where it's supposed to be. No freaking GoPro cut off because it got too hot. I know that one, when, when he hit it, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, that, that ain't gonna be no small one. Dude, I've been waiting yes. all week on a big bite, like five plus pound fish. I just haven't seen that in practice. I caught one big one in practice and that was it. But to get that five pound bite today, like I really think today I got a chance to catch maybe over 20. I figured out something that I had a hunch about this yesterday while I was fishing, but I just had too much going on to actually try it. But there's little hard spots in between this grass. That's what's different about it than anywhere else I've, I've fished. And I saw it and in my mind, I was thinking, I was like, dude, you need to try cranking. You ought to try cranking, cranking, cranking. And I just never would sit down and do it because I was getting bit so good on my drop shot. And I tied up a crankbait last night and I'm glad I tied up that crankbait. It's, it's, uh, it's definitely paying off this morning. I need to, I think I'm gonna change my hooks real quick on my crankbait. I don't know why I grabbed that chartreuse dive, but I'm gonna change my hooks on my crankbait real, real fast. Uh, Cause I did lose a couple this morning that I think would have really helped me. And we want to try to not be losing them. You know what I'm saying? These fish are very valuable. So um, I'm gonna try to change these hooks. I think we can catch 20 today. A five, I already have a five and a four. So I have two that weigh around 10 pounds. So I got room to make three more weigh 10 pounds. 20? Oh man, that's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. I think I, I can't. I, it's got a glimpse of him. He just came straight at me, so I didn't. I never saw him real good. Yeah, yeah. Oh god, dude. Oh, he's barely hooked. Yes, yes, yes. Dude, he came straight at me, so I couldn't see him. That's a four. That's a, that's a, mm, a three and a half. He came straight at me, so I couldn't see him. He was barely hooked, cuz. <laughs> ah, yes! He definitely is on my big side over here. I think that's a four. might help actually. I got two that's two and a half. I thought he was gonna be like four or five again. Went back to the drop shot. Yeah he's, I think that's a three pound. I don't know if he's three or not. Go down, go down. He swallowed it. Oh, you know. 
my bad. I don't think he's gonna help. I do have like a 250 something or something like that. No, I got 295 as my smallest. I gotta catch another three pounder. That's right. He's definitely not 295. No way that's 295, I'd say, right? Big big bro. Yeah, I need that one. I don't know why I've caught so many good ones around this point. He's coming straight at me. I couldn't keep up with him for a second. Then he's gonna act stupid. Uh he's a three. He ain't as big as I thought. But I need him because I do have one 295. Mm-hmm. That one helps. Dude, I caught, this would be the fourth over three on this point. I don't know, I don't even know what's special about it. I just, I just kind of wasn't hitting it. Oh no, I think he swallowed it. No. Pretty good though. Yeah, he's not quite three, but it's better than something like that. I don't think he is anyway. Yeah, looks like a pretty good one. He's all oh, man. I don't think he'll make three. Yeah, he won't make three. He's close, but he's just not. He's not three. The opposite end. today I just couldn't quite get there I thought I was gonna get there after I got that one I got a five I got a four I really thought I had a good chance to get 20 or more this is what I'm disappointed in my man dating over here I don't know how how did you not catch one today I don't understand it I don't understand it I put him around the fish my man didn't bring no rods my man did stand up. He didn't fish at all. He didn't catch one. All them fish we caught today, man, he never set the hook not one time. Not sure really where we are. I would say somewhere around the 18 pound mark or so, 18, 18 and a half, which is gonna be good. I think I'll get to fish tomorrow. So this is what they're about to tell me as soon as I will go across the stage. They'll tell me if I'm gonna make it till tomorrow or not. 
Let's go put this thing on the bank. Put them on the scales, boy. Weigh them. See what we can do tomorrow. We'll start. We're gonna start. We're gonna start new today, okay? Actually, I think you actually gave me a compliment yesterday. You just said I you like Jones it. better. I just like Jones better. I know. I, know. I get it. I get it. You got time. We're gonna build this relationship. <laughs> Right Brian Latterer, good day yesterday, 15 pounds, 2 ounces, a better day today, sir. You know it, baby. I love it. 18 pounds, 10 ounces, b lat to 35th, looking like a Saturday. Yeah, man, it was good fishing out there today. I had a good time yesterday, but I, I left the weigh-in feeling kind of sad about myself because, you know, I really thought 15 pounds would be okay, um, and it was not okay. I was not okay. emotional damage yesterday, but... Uh, today was good fishing, man. I caught probably twice as many fish as I had yesterday, and I get to catch in my favorite ways. So, you know, life is good. It was it was just a good day of fishing. Like I say, man, you're playing on Saturday, so you can set up here as long as you want to, but you're going to get yeah. exactly what you want. I get exactly okay? what I want. If that's what it takes to get here, you know, to cut day every day, uh -huh. I'll, I'll make sure I talk about you and Chris every time. Yeah, well, I hope you enjoy your time up <laughs> right here with on. Chris Jones tomorrow yes, on sir. Saturday, sir. Thank you, dude. You got it, bro. Hey, what I tell y'all last night about just kind of doing the same thing. I know so many people, when you get behind like that, it's so easy to want to get fancy and do something super special so you can you can have a claim to fame. Stay right in the pocket. 3312. Pretty dog on shore. That we gonna be fishing tomorrow, baby. <laughs> Pretty sure. Hey, I'm, I'm pretty solid that we're going to make the cut. Top 50 cut. Not sure where we're going to land at, but 3312 should be pretty good. I had an awesome day of fishing today, folks. This is like one of, one of my favorite days so far this year. Like anytime I can catch them cranking, I feel good about the day. So I, you know, I found a couple areas within my area that I think I can catch fish tomorrow. So uh, it's exciting. Two cuts in a row. That means I got more videos for you, more tournament coverage. I, I feel like you guys like the tournament vlogs better than you like anything, so life is good. It can't get much better than this. Only thing I need to try to do is figure out how I can get somewhere around 20 pounds tomorrow, 20 to 22. Actually, I probably gonna need a lot more than that. I don't know. We're just gonna go out and have fun tomorrow. Like, there's not many times you get to catch fish like this and catch them the way that you want to catch them. So I think the best thing we could do is just go out tomorrow and enjoy the ambiance. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, folks, I need to close out this video. I got to get my tackle ready for day three right here at Gunnersville. Never would have thought after yesterday that I would uh, make the cut. I thought the best I could do was another 15 or 16 pounds. 18, 12, check. So I'm excited about getting out there. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait to the next video to see how this tournament checks out, all right? So I know you'll come back. I don't even have to ask you to because I know you're gonna come back because you guys always do me right. Couple things. Make sure you check the links in the description box for Carl's Bait and Tackle. That's the online retailer that you guys can save so much money. A lot of the tackle you saw me fishing with today, I ordered it before I got here to Gunnersville. Save a whole bunch of money when you join carl's club all right go join carl's club i promise you he won't show up in your boat like he does mine and uh yeah that's all i got for you i'm going to get my stuff ready and cool off for today because it was super hot see y'all later